But I just kind of wanted you guys to get an idea of what it's like to go on a walk with a couple of short hairs. Now I brought No Name and Henry with me hoping that they would be good mentors and keep these short hairs from running off too far. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. All right, Georgie, let them go. Okay, guys, come on. Now hopefully we can get them. Of course, one of them goes one way. That's all right, cameraman, stay on me. And one of them went the other way. Come on. <laughs> That's why we brought two short hairs, okay? So we make it back to the house with at least one short hair. Izzy, come on! Come on! Now I have no idea like if you guys are even going to be able to see these dogs running. But we're going to try. Come on dogs! Now this is just what dogs like to do guys, just, you know, kind of frolic, jump around in the pond, hang out, hunt for stuff. And I like watching them hunt, you know, I mean I'm well past the stage of my life particularly where like I like to, to, to go hunting myself, but I love just to take a walk with the dogs and let them explore and uh, let them do some hunting on their own. Look at that. See how those uh, short hairs are out there following no name around? Just letting them explore. And this is what I think is kind of the most enjoyable part of my job right here. Uh, you know, I get tired of trying to boss dogs around. I don't like telling them what to do. I just tell them what to do until I get to the point to where I can kind of trust them to come out here and, and make good decisions. Come on, dogs. Come on, come on. Very nice dogs. Very nice dogs. You guys are smarties. Now look, Izzy's down here. She's found her something to... What are you eating there, Izzy? Ah, just an old plant. All you kind of have to watch for when you're like at a pond or a river or stuff is uh, you don't want them rolling in dead fish because that, that's a, that makes it a tough ride home. And you really don't want them eating dead fish because there's lots of little bones in them. But most of the stuff they choose to do is just fine. You kind of have to let dogs do a little exploring with their mouth when they're young. Everybody's always worried and, and uh, trying to take every stick out of a dog's mouth when it's a baby. Well, then all that happens is you end up raising a dog that doesn't know what's appropriate to put in their mouth or not. We got us a little brush pile here that we could get on. Rush, what are you doing? Izzy, come on Izzy. Izzy, come on, come on. Oh, come here, Smarty. Oh, hello, Rush. Hello, Izzy. You guys are so smart. Oh, you're good dogs. You're a very good dog, very nice dog. And of course, you're a good, good dog, no name. Just gonna kind of walk around up here. See who wants to follow me. Oh, Henry, what are you doing? I forgot you were out here. Come here, Henry. See if old man Henry can find his way up here. Dang, very nice. All dogs want to be labs, all labs want to be black. Oh, this one especially, is he loves the black labs. She's a very good dog. What are you doing, Rush? Now Rush, he's, uh, <laughs> he's not that interested in what, what Uncle Stoney's doing. He's off hunting. Rush happens to be the fastest dog I think I've ever had at my kennel. If we can get out here in this field just right, we might be able to see him take off so you can see how fast he can outpace these other dogs. Good dogs. Come on, come on. You guys don't go too far. Good boy, Rush. Good girl, Izzy. Good boy, no name. 
Oh man, Henry, what you doing? Henry's gonna be so tired when he gets back. <laughs> he's kind of got fat in his old age, on his retirement, you know. Uh, he's like a government worker, got his nice pension going, and uh, he just rides on the back of the four-wheeler all the time. Oh, that's good dogs. Good girl, Izzy. Good boy, Rush. Very nice. Good dogs. Very good dogs. Now, hoping that camera, you guys can see the way these short hairs look hopping through this. Uh, a uh, little bit of brush here. Oh, that's good boy. Come on, Rush. Come on, come on. Oh, good girl, Izzy. Rush. Very nice. And, uh, all we're trying to do is get them to where they don't go too far in their little hunting journeys. You know, I like for them to kind of come back and check in. These dogs, they're not gonna be hunters. These are suburban dogs. And uh, you know, like, short hairs do well in a suburban environment with the proper oversight and exercise, but you have to understand what you have, you know? And a lot of times, like there's a big disconnect between like the people that's, that buy these dogs for suburban environments and the people that raise these dogs, like uh, especially out in wide open spaces where they can be free and run a lot. And I just like, uh, I just try to kind of bridge you know those two worlds a little bit, showing people how, like even if you don't live in a wide open space, you can still have one of these dogs. You just have to understand what to expect and you have to educate them early as to, you know, kind of how far they can go away, how often they have to check in. Rush, rush, good boy. Izzy, come on Izzy. Come on Izzy, aren't you a good dog? Very nice dog. And you're a good dog, Henry. They start getting too far. Very nice. You want a treat, old man? Very nice dog. Now see, they're kind of starting to settle in a little bit now. I'll go back and cut off some of this walking or cut out some of this walking so you guys don't have to just watch me walk around for, for an hour. Come on, come on. Where'd Rush go? Rush! There he comes. Come on, Rush! <clears throat> now see how they're just kinda, they like to get over here in this fence row and hunt. And this is a really fun way to take a dog out, you know? No real pressure. I do need to be able to tell them no. Go over there, cameraman, and show them what's going on. Go over there and show them what they were barking at. Uh -uh. No, you're barking at the cows. Those are nice cows. Listen, those are nice cows. They're gonna make good treats for you one of these days. Why are you barking at them? <laughs> if I could just tell these dogs that one of these days those cows are gonna turn into good treats, then I don't think they would be barking so much. <laughs> Good dogs. Come on up this way, cameraman, so you can get, see what the dogs are doing.
Come on, come on. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear all those cows uh, bawling over there in the field. But it's got these, uh, got these short hairs tore up. They're like, what in the world is that? Okay, now we're about a half hour into our walk and we've been uh, around a couple of big fields. And so we're gonna head down to the, uh, to the other little pond here on the farm and uh, see if these dogs wanna get in there and kind of lounge for a minute. Even though the weather, it's uh, pretty mild today, it's only about 75 degrees. When the dogs are coming out of uh, winter, spring, uh, we know when the temperatures aren't getting up very often more than 60 degrees, when you first bring them out to a big open environment like this, you gotta watch, because sometimes they'll overdo it, you know. And how you tell if they're starting to overdo it is how big their tongue is, you know. So when their tongue starts hanging out real far, then you know you need to give them a little break. We call that around here a fatigue meter, right? So always when you're out with your dog, watch the tongue, watch the fatigue meter, because it's gonna tell you when you need to give them a chance to cool off. <laughs> oh, you lead the way, old man. Very nice. <laughs> You're breathing hard, Henry. <laughs> uh, you know that old saying, be careful what you wish for because you might get it. You know, Henry, he was looking at the truck like, come on, boss, take me. I was like, all right, but you got to keep up. Now, normally, what we see over here in this pond is a lot more critters, a lot of frogs, a lot of snakes, a lot of turtles, you know, but it's just now getting warm. So I don't know what we'll see today. We'll try to get over here quick enough so you can see these guys splashing around. Hello, Rush. See what I mean about how fast Rush is? Like all these dogs could be running and then all, it's like he's got an extra gear. He just kicks it in and he's history. <laughs> Sometimes they'll all be going somewhere like, and uh, Rush will all of a sudden like take off running. He'll get there, investigate it, and then run back to me before the others even get there. <laughs> now this is what dogs love to do right here. Just see, just out here exploring, having a good time. Uh, walk around, walk around this area this way, cameraman. Be careful where you step. Rush! Come on! And kind of the deal I make with Rush, because he's so fast, is uh, he can, uh, you know, he can come out here and hang out, hang out and have a lot of freedom as long as, like, he gets back over here in this area when I need him to. Back up that way so you can see him there, cameraman. Oh, now look at Izzy. Now this guy's is what a happy dog looks like. <laughs> Come over here and look at her face. Look at all this, all this algae on her face. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Now, let's just be honest, guys. You see what Rush is doing? Uh, what is he and those guys are doing over there? This is what these dogs like to do. They like to get out and they like to be muddy and they like to explore. And since dogs don't have thumbs, how do they explore their environment? They explore their environment with their mouth. Okay. So when you take your dogs out, they're gonna they're gonna want to get in some dirty stuff. They're gonna get muddy. They want to have fun, and you can't let the fear of them like you know like eating something they shouldn't eat or whatever. You can't let that rule your life. You know, I mean, like we we obviously don't want them to come out here and eat something they're not supposed to eat. But at the same time, like they love being out here and they love drinking this old dirty water and they love splashing around. You know, you can't be so afraid of something bad happening that you never do anything good. You know, then that seems to be like a sickness that our society has now where like everybody's just obsessed with what bad thing might happen and they're all locked up in their houses and they're not doing any of the fun stuff. You know, this muddy water, guys, it ain't killing anybody. You know, look, I'm gonna get out here in this muddy water. Do I look, do I look like I'm worried about getting the COVID? 
while I'm out here in this dirty water? Of course not. I'm gonna get out here and have a good time. Show these dogs that uh, I'm not gonna ask them to do anything that I wouldn't do. <laughs> now watch what Izzy's done. Is she's run up on this log over here and it kind of has got a funny shape to it. And so it's moving around. Watch, I'm gonna move it to see if I can get her to bark at it. <laughs> <sighs> Izzy, what's that? Get it. Get it, Izzy. Get it, Izzy. Yeah, now she's... Whoa! <laughs> I almost got to COVID right there. But uh, I was trying to get Izzy to bark at that log again, but she ain't going to. All right, cameraman, can you make your way under those trees over there? Georgie, move those trees out of your mom's way. Well, the cameraman just gave me the wrap it up sign. Uh, it's been about 45 minutes so far, <laughs> so you can kind of see. I'll turn it, I'll, I'll get in front of the cameraman so you can see these dogs still running, okay? Uh, they just go and go and go and go. So you guys that live in the suburbs, like uh, watch this video a couple of times and make sure that you're up for what it's gonna take to help these dogs regulate their energy levels in a suburban. <laughs> in a suburban situation. It can be done. Rush, wherever he is, uh, there he is, he's from Chicago, you know? And like, uh, so he's gonna do fine in Chicago because he has an owner that's a real proactive and athletic person. He's gonna get out, he's gonna ride the bike with him, he's gonna take him to the park, take him to soccer and football and all that stuff, okay? As long as you're willing to really integrate that dog into your life, short hairs make, make perfect pets, you know? But like I said, watch this video a couple of times so that you can see <laughs> <laughs> how much energy they have. Now, we've already been working all day at my kennel, okay? We've had people coming and going, dogs coming and going. So what you saw here, <laughs> it ain't like we just got them out of their little plastic prisons, okay? Because <laughs> at my kennel, they don't, they're not in little plastic prisons. We're out running around all day. So what you saw getting out of the truck, okay, that's after a lot of exercise. So even when you go back and watch this video, like really make sure you understand what I'm telling you about these dogs, athleticism, energy output, and endurance. Come on dogs. All right, children, let's go to the truck. <laughs> Deer tracks, yep. Uh-huh. What is it? You found a deer track? Okay. Oh, yeah. I wish I had my phone. I would take a picture of it for you. <laughs> Get on this side, Cameron. You can see it a lot better. Of course. Watch out, dogs. Right here. Right there you go. And that's another thing about short hairs. They're always in the way. <laughs> oh. All right, come on, let's get to the truck. We got people coming to the house. All right, hey, how about you guys try to run to the truck and see if y'all can outrun these dogs? <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts. And the short hairs have disappeared, so all I can do is hope that they race George to the truck and they're up there waiting for me, okay? So remember how I'm all, oh, they're back. Dang, nice. Remember how I'm always talking about going with a double finger cross? That's what saved me right there, guys. Double finger cross every time. All right, now remember what I was telling you about Rush going places and then coming back so fast? Look, he ran all the way from the back of the farm to the truck. <laughs> And now he's back again. <laughs> I mean, that's all he does. He's just like a, a like a pinball. He's just bam, 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 bam. You know, which is super fun to watch. I love exercise and rush because, like, it's it's just amazing to watch the athleticism that he displays. You know, he just rock and rolls. And and what's funny is that he's gonna get in the truck, and by the time we get back to the kennel, he's gonna have recharged his batteries, and he's gonna hop out of the truck ready to go again. You know, really, they're really amazing dogs, and I really like short hairs a lot. 
Uh, like I said, it's just the energy regulation that gets people in trouble. You know, make sure, make sure you understand what you're getting into with you when you get these dogs, and they're one of the most rewarding dogs that you can that you can live with. You know, and they live forever, and they very rarely get sick. I mean, they're awesome in in pretty much every way other than the fact that they love to dart off and come back, dart off and come back, and they just do it all day, every day, you know. All right, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and uh, I'll see you next week.